This video will review how to use find and update to add an undo statement for jobs that end with specific OSConfStat codes in the Control-M Enterprise Manager. This is useful when you have more than one job that you need to update and a manual update will take too long. These are the jobs we will be updating. Let's go ahead and check the folder out to make the changes. And here in the job, we can see that the undo actions are currently empty. First, we will go to find an update. Be sure you're on the workspace tab in the planning domain, or else you will not see the correct ribbon that has find an update. Find an update will be located all the way to the right of this ribbon. Once selected, a new window will appear. We first need to find the jobs that we want to modify. Currently, I want to update all jobs in this workspace, so I will use the default filter and select Find. In the Find results, you can see that the jobs in my workspace have been located. Now we will configure the changes we would like to make in the Update field. Next to Update Matching Jobs according to the following criteria, select the New button. Click on Application and navigate to Actions, Undo Actions, Undo Actions. Then select Update and change this to Add. We will then use the Add Child button next to Set On Statement and select it twice. This is the Add Child button. In the code slash folder and design, we will input the OS comp stat we desire. For this demo, we will use the OS comp stat of 7. For your environment, be sure to use an OS comp stat value that meets your business needs. When inputting the OS comp stat value, you will need to put comp stat space EQ and the OS comp stat code. Next to STMT assign, input a wildcard. Now we will use the add child button that is next to undo action. Now we see that a set do statement has been added and we will use the add child button two more times. The first time will be next to the set do statement. And the second time will be next to set do action. With this do statement, it will change the job to end OK. Let's also configure a do statement to add a condition. Select add child next to undo action, and a new set do statement appears. We will add a child to this and update set do action to set do add slash remove condition. Now we will select add child three times to add the fields for the condition. That's once, twice, and a third time. For the name, we will use test. For the date, we will use the current O date. And for the sign, we will use the plus sign, which means the condition will be added. Now we will select the update button. And in the update results, we can see that the jobs were updated. Let's take a look at the jobs now. First, we'll close this window. Let's go ahead and edit this so we can see the values or the configuration. So here we can see on OS completion status equals to seven, the job will be set to okay and it will add the condition named test with the current O date. 
That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.